Welcome to the show. I'm Ryan Gomez. And I'm John. Hi there. Hey, we are back with another day full of awesome Kaladesh preview cards. Yeah, today is going to be a star-studded day, a lot of heavy hitters today. We are starting with the last Planeswalker, the blue-white Dovin Bond. Yes, coming in at a healthy four mana, he does some neat stuff. I. It's kind of like he detains an opposing creature because yeah. it's not going to attack when it gets minus three, minus exactly. all right. Right. He so that's like the blue-white He ability. protects himself very well, and that's scary because there's not a whole lot of great ways to to interact with these guys aside from bashing with creatures and he's going to stop the best one from doing that. Sure. It was really confusing yesterday seeing all of the Kaladesh inventions and mm. seeing Static Orb on there because Static Orb kind of felt out of place and now it all makes sense all because right. of Dovin Bond. Sure, sure. So... Yeah, I'm not looking forward to facing this guy. He passes nope. the groan test. Make, he's going to make me groan when I see him on the table. It opposite. is a bummer. It's a bummer. But, mm, Bladeswalkers, what can you do? Uh, all right, how about this next one, John? You are really excited. I am! About I am extremely excited about Verdict Crescendo. It's going to be very, very good. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to walk you through this, okay? Please. So, it seems as though... Standard has been moving more and more towards just like mid-range battles. It's been that way ever since Theros got printed, where there's yep. not really uh, many aggressive decks, there's not really many control decks, there's like one of each, sure. but then all the other decks are just some kind of flavor of mid-range. Yep. So what happens with a card like Verda Crescendo is... Crescendo? Wibbly. So what happens is you play it on turn four, you go get the Nissa that's not very good, but you also get a land. So with that land boost, you're going to be able to play that Nissa a turn early. You're going to play it on turn five, and then what you're going to have, you're going to play it, you're going to plus it, and then you're going to have plus three life and an eight loyalty Planeswalker on turn five. In a mid-range kind of matchup, that's pretty good. That's like a, that's, that's a free Planeswalker. It's really strong and subsequent copies of Verdict Crescendo get it out of the graveyard it, that minus ability is real draw two cards is real and your opponent can't really ignore it because you can just go you can go plus minus plus and from there it's going to be really hard for your opponent to kind of get any headway against Nissa because in this time frame you're also going to be playing other spells so I think Verdict Crescendo is really good these cards are not designed to like make a big footprint in standard, but I think this one, they kind of messed up, and it's going to work out for players that are yeah, playing it. We were kind of speculating, being that this was their first try at making not-so-great Planeswalkers, would they get it right, or would they take some time to kind of dial it in? And maybe they did uh, aim a little off here on this first shot. It's, it's really strong! It, it does seem great. And if you're a new player, by all means, grab one of these new decks to start with. Totally. At the very least, it could snowball into something more competitive. I don't know. Absolutely. I have a lot to say on this card, just because, like, it's, um... It's, a lot of people are going to sleep on it because the 6-mana Nissa is not as good as the 5-mana Nissa and it's not as good as the 3-mana Nissa, but Verdant Crescendo, I think, uh, increases the value a lot. Sure. With Verdant Crescendo in your deck, you only need to have one copy of it because nice. it any subsequent Verdant Crescendos that get cast, they can get your Nissa out of the graveyard. That's true. So it's, it's really super strong. I really like... For Crescendo and Nissa. And and I think it's going to be a real thing in standard. All right, I'm warming up to it. I mean, not to mention, you've got Call the Gatewatch. You've got um, you know other ways to kind of get Planeswalkers and get totally. a whole Super Friends deck kind of going. So if, yeah. you, if you're looking for that critical mass, maybe you start running your, your B-string Nissa. But she could, <laughs> she could still pull weight. I don't know. I like sure. it. All right. All right, I'm warming up to it. I like it. Cool. Right. How about uh, Aetherborn Marauder? I'm high on this guy. What do you think? Oh, Aetherborn Marauder. Okay, well, here's the thing. 2-2 Two -two Flyer, Lifelink. For four mana, I, I think I would just play that straight up. That's not terrible. It's going to be good and limited because sometimes you're just going to slam it yeah. and you're going to have a couple guys that maybe have a plus one, plus one counter and all of a sudden, boom, you have a 4-4 four, four, flying lifeline for four and that's... That's amazing. That is really good. And there's you're going to have guys with the plus one counters because Fabricate is a thing, right? So yep. you're going to have your choice of putting counters on guys or making 1-1 one -one servos. I think usually you're going to make the servos and kind of go wide, spread out your, your eggs a little bit. Yeah. But if you were stacking them up and for some reason they can't get through the, the defensive line of your opponent... Now you just move everything into one really big guy, go up top, gain some life. You can I definitely like play according to Aetherborn Marauder in your deck, which is sweet. I like cards that do that. Sure. Next card up, we've got Bowman Courier. Okay, so this one's a little bit harder to, to gauge. I think you're going to see this and be like, well, if it dies, I lose all those cards that it exiled. That's sure. not really happening. You're That's not, not you, what happens at there's, all. There's no downside to those it. Those are it just upsides. You just don't even think about it. Yes, it's all upside. So normally running a one-mana 1-1 one, one in your deck... Not a great move, though. So talk me through that. Why would I want to include this guy being well, so weak? Well, 
I've got two words for you. Lupine prototype. Oh. Boom. Our preview card. Man, that one ended up being pretty good. Mm. So what happens is you can play this and then you can sacrifice it whenever you want and uh, your Lupine prototype is going to be really close to being able to attack because your hand is going to be kind of drastically less than it used to be, but you're still going to have some stuff to do. So I don't know. I can see this guy working. Okay. All right. So a little one, two... Combo Wombo with, <laughs> with the wolf in a suit. Oh, yeah, I mean, and there's hey. there's madness cards too, I guess, sure. if you want to get into that. Sure, sure. Also in red, which this guy taps into. All right, so he does yep. kind of fit into a weird kind of a neat new thing with artifacts. All right. We'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, here's another one that plays right into that. We got Whirler Virtuoso. So you've noted that this guy makes... Thopters, right, not which are servos. Right, which fly, which seems way, way better than servos. And I yep. haven't seen a whole lot of other ways to make thopters in this set. Uh, we had them in Origins, but that's rotating out right. when Kaladesh comes in. So if you want to take to the skies and you've got some energy to spare, just keep funneling it into this guy yeah. and you'll have an army with wings pretty quick. Right on. Last card up, and I think this is going to be another big player in standard, maybe modern, Scrap Heap Scrounger. And I'm going to tell you why. Please. Okay, so... The the modern dredge deck, it's got um, oh boy, what's the um, prize amalgam? Prize amalgam, yeah. that's what it's called. And it's if that deck is short on anything, it's short on ways to get the prize amalgams back from the graveyard into play. And sure. scrap heap scrounger can act as one of those. Like yeah. it, um, the exiling another creature in your graveyard is a real cost. It's a big cost in that dredge deck, but. I mean, I, I really like Scrounger. It's really cheap to get the card back. It wakes up all your prized amalgams. I think it's really strong. I agree with you there. Um, I mean, it fits, like I said, it uses black mana in a way yep. that fits right in with what black wants to do. They've got ways to kind of fill their own graveyard already. We've oh, totally. got some self-mill left over kind of from um, the Innistrad block that we just had. So there are ways to kind of load that up, and then this guy can pop right out, and he can drag prized amalgam along with him, and suddenly you've got six power on the board um, by surprise. Yeah. Him, so... A 3-2 two for 2 is also awesome. That just destroys the vanilla test, and I'm Absolutely. a sucker for cards that do that. Yes. Well, so, like we said, a bunch of powerful great stuff today. A Planeswalker, a weird card that you can only get in an intro deck. That gets uh, a Planeswalker that, that you can only get in an intro deck. You can only get a... Huh! Woo! What a crazy time to be playing Magic. I love it. What I feel like an alive. inventor. There's so many great cards to just build around and play with uh, um, and get out there. So Same. We're excited. Let us know what cards you're excited about in the comments below. And, and visit TCGplayer.com. Magic.tcgplayer has everything you are going to need if you play Magic. It's got articles by the pros, Magic Online videos by the pros. We've got a buy list. Sell us your cards. Buy more cards. Do everything. Do all four of those things because they're all great and you're, you're going to be better off for it. Absolutely. We want you to be prepared for the pre-release. So keep watching. We'll have videos all week long to get you up to speed on everything about Kaladesh. Woo! That's it for today, though. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, Internet. Bye.